Today we are going to do the printmaking part of our radial symmetry project. So if you remember last week we made our designs lots of interesting lines with lots of interesting lines. Now we're going to print it in four different colors to make the radial symmetry. So today what you need in your boxes you will find you will have your artwork, you will have a piece of sandpaper, you will also need pieces to print, so white pieces of paper to print your artwork. You will have a brush with water and a, some watercolor paints. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of sandpaper and we're actually going to rub the sandpaper on our styrofoam. If we would just paint right onto the styrofoam, the paint would come dripping off, it would not stay. So we have to make it a little rougher. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it right at those polka dots so that on this side you have lots of sandpaper and you're going to go ahead and you're going to rub that styrofoam in all the areas. Make sure you're getting the edges. So now you can feel a difference. It's smooth and it's not shiny. So we're going to use four different colors. So the first one, you're going to choose one color. I want you to stay away from black. We are not using black. I want you to stay away from brown. We are not using brown. And I want you to stay away from white. I don't even have white, but we're not going to use white because that will not show up on our white paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paintbrush wet. And then I'm going to choose a color. I think I'm going to go ahead and do violet. So I'm getting lots of paint. We want lots of paint because we want lots of color. Notice how I'm not pushing hard down, but I'm gently rubbing it, twisting it. Then I'm going to go ahead and paint my entire styrofoam piece. You can always get more paint. We don't want a ton of water, second graders, for this. We don't want a ton of water. We want lots of paint. If you need a little bit more water, and kind of wash it off on the edge. We don't want a lot of water. And again, we're just using one color at a time. Making sure I covered it all. The next thing we are going to take, make sure your hands are clean, because we are going to take a piece of paper and we are going to print it on the paper. You are going to put it down very gently and straight. We don't want to move it around because if you move it around your print will not work. So you're going to set it down, keep it there, do not lift it up and move it. Once it's down you leave it. Then you're going to go ahead with your hands and you're going to rub it. Again, noticing I am not moving my paper or my print. I'm holding it with one hand and rubbing it with the other hand. Then when you think you've rubbed it all, you can go ahead and gently and carefully lift your paper up. I'm holding down the print with one end and holding it with the other. Now you can see one of my prints is done. You can see my lines. There are, spart there are pot spots that are a little darker and that's okay. Now before you bring it over to Mrs. Schmidt to put it on the drying rack, it is very important that we write our name. So I'm going to go ahead just right here. It doesn't matter as long as I can see it. I'm going to write my name. You're going to bring it over to Mrs. Schmidt. She will put it on the drying rack for next week. Now we're going to use a different color, but our styrofoam is dirty. Okay, So you're going to bring it over to the sink and you're going to rinse it just a little bit. Just a teeny, teeny bit of water. Then you're going to wipe it off with a paper towel that's ready for you at the sink. Now I don't want to go to the sink, so I have a wet paper towel. I'm just going to wipe it off. You do not have to get all of that purple off or all of that color off. Just enough so you can add a second color. Then I'm going to dry it. And I'm ready for a second color. Again, you can see a little bit of the purple, but that's okay. So now I'm going to choose a different color that will go well with purple. I think I am going to choose orange. So I'm going to get some water 
and I'm going to go ahead and get my orange again using lots and lots and lots of paint and then you're going to put it on the entire thing remember you don't want lots of water if you need a little bit more water that's okay but we don't want a lot of water we're going to paint the entire thing make sure you're getting all of the edges if you think you need a little bit more paint go ahead now we're going to do the same thing make sure your hands you need to use a paper towel make sure your hands are clean before you pick up your piece of paper you're going to go ahead and you're going to remember you're going to lay it down and you're not going to move it so I lay it down and I am not going to move it I'm going to hold it with one hand and rub it with my other hand Make sure you go over all the edges, all the corners. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and gently and carefully pull it up. And you have another print. Again, remember, please remember your name. Next week, when you come to art, we will put it all together, we will cut them out, and we will make four that are the same so it has radial symmetry.